Hi friends, we are doing lesson four in our economics unit. It's called Currency in North America and the Caribbean. It starts on page 130. On page 130, lesson four, essential question. Why is money important? Why do you think? Money is important so people all over the world can buy, sell, and trade with one another. Words to know. Circle the words you you know and put a question mark next to the words you don't know. I circled characteristics and symbol. Features and currency I want to know more about. Top of page 130. You've learned that most people use money when they buy or sell products. Money has many characteristics that make it easy to use. A characteristic is a feature that helps us identify something. Money comes in paper bills and metal coins. It is small and easy to carry in your pocket. This makes it portable. Money is also divis divisible, which means it can be divided into smaller amounts. Money will not fall apart easily either. This means it's durable. Finally, money is recognizable. When you look at money, you know how much it is worth and what country it's from. Underline the characteristics of money. So in your notebook, you can underline, and I didn't underline it in the PDF, but you can underline it in on page 130. Um, metal coins, paper bills, small and easy to carry. Okay. Very good. Okay, on the top of page 131, every country in the world has a money system called currency. Currency is different from one country to the next. The names of the bills and coins are different. For example, the United States, we call paper money dollars. In Mexico, paper money is called pesos. Currency also comes in different amounts, depending on which country it is from. You can trade one country's currency for another country's currency, too. This way, people all over the world can buy, sell, and trade with one another. Make a list of ways to use money. I want you to come up with your own list. My list says... Number one, pay bills. Number two, buy groceries. Number three, save for vacation. And number four, pay for gas. On the shovel here, it says fun facts. The U.S. dollar bill can be folded more than 4,000 times before it will tear. A coin can, oh, excuse me, a coin can last around 30 years. A million dollars in pennies would weigh nearly 500,000 pounds. Top of page 132. Currency used in North America. The different currencies used in North America and the Caribbean all have some characteristics in common. They all have symbols on them. A symbol is a picture that represents something else. They also have words or numbers that tell you how much the currency is worth. But each currency has features that make it recognizable to each country. Let's take a look. The United States. Paper currency in the United States is called dollars. These paper bills are all the same size but they are worth different amounts. The dollar bill, which has a picture of our first president on it, who's our first president? George Washington. 
shows the number one. This means that it is worth one dollar. The U.S. coins come in different values too. Unlike paper bills, coins come in different shapes and sizes. Coins show a person on the front and a building, animal, or other symbol on the back. The value is written on the coin too. So go ahead and label dollar, quarter, penny, dime, and nickel. Okay, Canada. The paper currency in Canada is also called dollars. Can Canadian paper bills are the same shape and size, but they are different colors. The fronts of the bills show important people in Canada's history. The backs show different symbols of Canada. Canadian coins come in different colors and sizes too. The coins have a picture of a person on the front. On the back are pictures of different plants or animals found in Canada. The value of each coin is also written on the back. Mexico. Paper currency in Mexico is called pesos. This is on page 133. Pesos are the same size and shape, but they come in different colors. They have pictures of people and places that symbolize Mexico's history. Presidents, leaders, and even artists are featured on pesos. A number on the bill shows its value. Most Mexican coins are called centavos, and I think I said that wrong, so I'm sorry if I did. They come in different shapes and colors. They have a golden eagle on one side. The golden eagle is a national symbol of Mexico. There are also coins for one, two, five, and ten pesos. All of the peso coins have rings of steel around them. The Caribbean. The Caribbean has many kinds of currency. Some Caribbean land islands are settled by European countries. These islands use the same currency as those European countries. Other island countries are controlled by Britain. These countries join currencies to create the East Caribbean dollar. How can you recognize East currency, East Caribbean currency? East Caribbean coins show a picture of the British Queen on one side. The front of all East Caribbean paper bills also show a picture of the Queen. The other side shows the value when the currency was made the and the words East Caribbean states, some East Caribbean coins also have a picture of a boat on them. Discovery Education, there is a movie called Secret Life of Money. It's 43 minutes. It's a great video. You should watch it. Reading Skills, Compare and Contrast. It says, circle, and circle the characteristics that show how these four currencies are similar. Underline the characteristics that show how they are different. Instead of doing this, because there's so many details, I'd like you to fill out the chart about how currency is the same and different. You can print the PDF worksheet that's on my webpage. The following page in the PDF says, Compare and Contrast Currency in North America. Directions. Compare and contrast the different currency characteristics in North America by completing the chart below. Highlight the differences. So along the top it says the United States of America, Canada, Mexico, and the Caribbean. Down the first column it says name of paper currency, name of coins, type of pictures, colors of paper currency, colors of coins, shapes and sizes of coins and bills, value of currency. Okay, so the one I did, I listed everything they said. 
I just want you to pick one thing in each category and then I want you to figure out what are the differences. Okay. Top of page 134. Match the money. How well do you know how the currency used in North America and the Caribbean? Match each bill or coin by drawing a line from it to the country or, or region where it is used. Good luck. Okay, so the, the map, the one on in your textbook is um, blank. So I'd like you to make your own key and color Canada, Caribbean, USA, and Mexico different colors. Okay. All right, so the coins that you can see on page 134, one says, uh, one on, on the coin, it says Mexico. Um, cent, so I'd like you to write centavos, Mexico, and then there's the penny, USA. Okay, and then on the bottom here, it says Canada, there's a Canada $5 bill, there's a USA $1 bill, and then there is a Mexican um, currency. On the top of page 135, create your own currency. I'm excited to see what your pictures are going to turn out to be. Now it's your turn to create a currency. Imagine that you have been asked to create a coin which will be used only in your state. So we live in South Dakota. In the space below, we use what you have learned about currency to design your coin. Be sure to include pictures or symbols that represent your state in your design. So I listed a bunch of different things that are South Dakota. So the South Dakota bird is a pheasant. The tree is Black Hills spruce. The animal is the coyote. The bread is fry, fry bread. The capital is pier. The drink is milk. The fish is walleye. The flower is purple American fescue. The insect is a honeybee. The motto is under God, the people rule. And the a landmark is Mount Rushmore. So the front side of my coin shows the state flower and the state insect with the word South Dakota. On the back, it shows the state fish, which is a walleye and Mount Rushmore, and it says $5. So my coin is worth $5. Great. Okay, on um, lesson three, essential question, why is money important? Mo now remember, use the words in the question in our answer. Money is important so people all over the world can buy sell, and trade with each other. All right, friends, this is the end of our um, economics lesson. So, nice job, and I hope you learned a lot about economics. Kiss your brain.